On this edition of American Thunder, our cameras will travel to Wyoming, Minnesota to get an exclusive look at how Victory motorcycles are designed, engineered, and manufactured. There, American Thunder will test ride the brand new Victory Vision. American Thunder traveled to Polaris Industries in Wyoming, Minnesota. Best known for their snowmobiles and ATVs, 14 years ago, Polaris expanded into the heavyweight cruiser motorcycle business. The result was a victory, literally. The first Victory Motorcycles was actually produced on the 4th of July in 1998, so we're really rapidly approaching our 10th anniversary. And we put that motorcycle together at our plant in Spirit Lake, Iowa. The bikes are designed here in the Midwest and assembled here. And what we're trying to do with Victory, the new American motorcycle, is really kind of set the tone of the future of American motorcycles. So what does that mean? That means forward-looking design, cutting-edge technology, the kind of performance and durability and reliability and all the comfort that the customers want today. But cruiser customers, more than anything, tell us they want style followed by comfort. And so those are the things that we try the hardest to kind of over-deliver on. When we return, we'll get an exclusive look at the Victory Product Development Center. Coming up next, American Thunder's Jay Barberi will be in Wyoming, Minnesota, testing the new Victory Vision. But before he got on the road, our cameras toured their cutting-edge product development center. At Victory, we use state-of-the-art software for designing the motorcycle. We have multi-body dynamic software for fine-tuning the vehicle dynamics. We also have software for analyzing the airflow over the motorcycle. We design the motorcycle 100% before we build the first one on the production line. So generally, it's a matter of fine-tuning once we build the first bike. We don't worry about structural durability, any of those things when we build the first bike. That's pretty much solved on the computer. This is a chassis dyno that we use at Victory for developing the calibrations. We also do performance development here as well. All of the Victories are closed loop fuel injected. There's a feedback loop in the fuel injection system and it automatically adjusts for atmospheric conditions and temperature conditions, things like that. So it's a more efficient way to deliver fuel to the engine. A high IQ is definitely a requirement to work for Victory, but there is one job only a dummy can do. Behind me here is a two-post full vehicle shaker. What we use this for is validating the structural integrity of the bike. We take the bike on the road, we instrument it to collect strain data, and basically measure the road with the bike, put it on the shaker, and match those strain levels with the shaker. And then what we do is edit that file that you've created to eliminate all the non-damaging content, and then play it back and what that allows us to do is to rack up about 300,000 miles of structural durability in about three weeks. So it's a really rapid way to validate the frame of the bike and the other structural components on the bike. Next, we'll see how Victory implemented some racing technology into their latest heavyweight cruiser, the Vision. American Thunder project manager Jay Barberi often test rides many of the newest motorcycles. His latest assignment was to take the new Victory Vision for a spin. But first, Polaris engineer Janice Bates gives us a quick look inside their assembly plant in Spirit Lake, Iowa. The unique thing about uh, Victory Motorcycles on the assembly line is that we do mixed model production. Every one of the units that are going down line could be a different model and a different type, and it also could be different colors. It works through a, a system that tells us exactly what we need to put onto the motorcycle, and it tells us exactly what parts need to go on through the assembly line. After the frames are finished, they're sent along with the sheet metal to the paint department, where almost any combination of colors can be created. When the bike is completed, it gets dyno tested, some finishing touches, and is crated and sent to the dealer. It's one thing to see what goes into designing and building a bike from start to finish, but the true test is to take it on the road. Vice President of Victory Motorcycles, Mark Blackwell, was happy to oblige. I know that the chassis is very unique on this bike. It's a forged piece of aluminum, and the motor's kind of suspended. And what that really does for us more than anything else is provides tremendous rigidity. 
So you'll notice that there's not a lot of vibration. The bike is very smooth. And yet when we get into the twisty corners and we start to push the bike, you're gonna find that it's very stable. The suspension does the work absorbing the bumps, not the chassis. This is one of the first times I've actually enjoyed riding in cold weather on a gray day. I'm not cold at all. This is a new, new for victory this year, this engine management system. It's a closed loop system. And so it kind of monitors the density of the air, the air temperature, and together with the CPU, that it's constantly adjusting. You feel the torque of that motor when you roll it on in sixth gear? Yeah, I, I forgot that I was in sixth gear. I'm gonna put my windshield up, see if I cut down on this wind even more. I mean, I don't need to, but I'm gonna check it out. Pretty cool. So Mark, let's talk a little bit about the torque and the horsepower. We got 106 cubic inch motor. We've got over 90 horsepower and well over 100 foot pounds of torque. You're not gonna use the power all the time, but there are situations where you just wanna roll it on and pull away, and that's important. Mark, I noticed that the brakes are very unique on this bike. Yeah, this is a linked brake system. It's in kind of a, a situation where you mash the rear brake hard, it will actually apply the center caliper on the front twin disc brakes. And, and what you'll see is it helps stop the bike and it helps make the whole bike drop evenly. Well, that brings up a good point. Touring bike's great, but sometimes you go out on a long rod and you hit some twisties. You want to have the performance there. I'm not saying we're going to carve canyons hard, but obviously it's a confidence level is really high at high speeds going into some really tight turns. Hey Jay, one other thing you should know about the Victory Vision, if you do get off the bike and forget to put your kickstand down or have a little trouble in the parking lot, you're okay, thanks to our tip-over protection system. That's unbelievable. Dude, no way, <laughs> no way. No damage to the bike, and it's easy to pick it right back up again. Wow. It's pretty obvious that Jay was very comfortable on the new Victory Vision. So much so that he was able to grab the cameraman's hat with his foot as it flew off out of the chase car. Victory design consultant and legendary bike builder Arlen Ness saw the vision not only as a technological achievement, but also as a blank canvas to create his latest masterpiece. I got it right before Sturgis last year and did a few things to it. Raked the neck on it and put the front wheel out a little further main thing was lowering it and, and changing the mufflers. Put some paint on it, did some hand engraving, some black anodizing, added some fender skirts, and a little bit more chrome, but uh, what a wonderful bike. I haven't had many bikes with a radio and an iPod and an electric windshield and heated grips and uh, all the trick stuff. Probably the most comfortable ride I've ever had. I uh, rode this to Sturgis and that's all you'll catch me on going to Sturgis anymore will be one of these visions. Both Arlen and son Corey have been working closely with Victory over the years to develop signature styled models and a full line of aftermarket accessories. Well, that's all for this week's edition of American Thunder. We really enjoy being able to travel all over the United States to bring you the latest fads, news, and technology in the motorcycle industry. Remember, when you're on the road, safety is as important as making a fashion statement. Please keep sending me your ideas and comments at AmericanThunderTV.com. I love hearing from you and look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for watching.